Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Monday, March 13th, 2023. These trades were shared by MG, who's trading NASDAQ CFD. And as you see from his one hour macro chart, we have a red candle, but the price is in sideways. Anyway, this candle can be seen in a structural 15 minute as a downtrend. And when the breakout happened, uh, you can see much better the channel in five minute trading chart. So with breakout entered here with the setup C and close it on the other side of the support area with profit. So thank you MG for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by MH who is trading NASDAQ CFD. As you see his trading chart of one minute is showing uptrend and it's aligned with the higher time frames based on algo 1 to 3 and he saw an uptrend channel and entered here based on algo 1 to 5 and exit here based on exit strategy number 1 and close it with profit. Next few trades were shared by Castro, our global instructor who's trading here Brent oil in form of CFD. You see the downtrend channel clearly in his chart. Uh, which is the macro one hour he entered here using a smaller time frame of the trading charts with tightest sub loss and is now in profit and with very good risk to reward is managing this trade also he traded dow jones industrial average in form of cfd and again we have downtrend channel in the one hour chart and using a smaller trading time frame he entered here with very tight stop loss and is now managing the trade to close it on the other side of the support area. So thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those I have taken at the beginning of New York market session and the video with explanation was shared with the students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that I have taken at the beginning of New York market session on Monday. 13th of the March 2023. These trades were taken on Eminis, uh, Nasdaq, and Russell in form of Emini and Micro Futures. And you can see here the trades that I have taken entry and exits to update you the market. If you look at the daily charts in all Eminis, uh, went down and reached some level that was tested. Uh, for Nasdaq around uh, you can see end of the January for Russell much more it was way down in the beginning of January this much low anyway so you can see uh, this level hold and during the global session we see in one hour chart it went down and got rejected during New York market session when it opened, if you look at five minute charts, it also went down and at 9.30 tested the, almost this level around 11,700. So when this test finished and I saw that it's holding and buyers are back based on the uh, order flow confirmation on top of dynamic price action that we have. so. Uh, I took several long positions. You see here these long positions and these are kind of runner. Again, this wave is retested uh, and this pullback and I took another long position uh, around uh, 15 minutes past 9.30, so 9.45. And you can see these are all around this candle that went all the way down and went up. And I took also in the center of Russell uh, some long positions around 9.45, this trend. And anyway, it reached the result of the day for 20 minutes of trading using PAT system. Every trade was copied by copy trader uh, to multiple Apex funding account. And so average of all these trades shows profit factor of 7.4. All other things like sharp ratio is very high. And we had 76% win rate from the long side that was taken. And we have average win to loss ratio of 1.75. And you can see average winning and losing trades. And the largest uh, winning trades was 240 and largest losing trade was 129. 
so hope this trace taken by the path system is useful for you uh, for the fastest scalping and any time frame or style of trading. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.